All right, what is good, everybody? Quan Credible here for the review of Black Clover Chapter 328, I believe. I always forget. But if you're looking for the This Was the Greatest Chapter Ever 10 out of 10 review, you have clicked on the wrong channel. <laughs> it's the wrong video to watch because while this chapter wasn't completely bad, I can understand like where people would like a lot of things here. For me personally, I really did not like this chapter. Like at first when I saw the, the spoilers, it was like, eh, it was all right. But then after reading the officials and having it sit with me for a little bit, I, I just didn't like it. I mean, I could, again, if you liked it, this was peak fiction to you. This is real cinema. Cool. No, there's nothing wrong with that. But me personally, there's just a lot of things in this chapter that just bothered me uh it, and you might be thinking like well a lot didn't even happen all like that to be bothered well coming off of the nine page chapter uh be before the uh, break into this there's things to talk about so if you remember uh the, the previous chapter it ended with like asta like it, like it was like the tides were definitely shifting in his favor but this chapter <laughs> oh my gosh Oh my gosh. So it's basically just a fight between Lucifero and Asta uh, while also getting a flashback. And now I think I'll talk about the flashback first because that's like the biggest thing I feel like. And we get more of, you know, Lasita talking to Libby, talking about how, you know, she had a kid that was around his size and, you know, she can't really take care of him because of, you know, she passively sucks away mana and uh, life force, which eventually would kill Asta. I guess that whole thing is kind of weird because it's like, she like because when we see her demonstrate it it seems like it kills people like really fast because that snake that tried to bite her like died instantly so it's like you'd think a baby would have died instantly i guess if she was to like carry it to said church and place him down I, but i'm not even going to get really deep into that because it's fiction it's not supposed to make a lot of sense there's no reason tabata just he he definitely like illustrated what he wanted to illustrate regardless of how it doesn't really quite make sense to somebody who's looking at it week to week more critically which is what i do look at series week to week more critically but the thing that annoys me about this is there is no one there is no one who reads black clover or watches, uh, yeah, I would just say, there's no one who reads Black Clover who did not already know that Lasita was Asta's mom. So this whole chapter, like, or this whole flashback in the chapter, literally, it, it didn't mean anything because we already knew this. We already knew this from Libby thinking it and seeing it and seeing their whole flashback. Like, we knew that was his mom. So this isn't a big reveal to the reader. This isn't a big reveal to Asta because Asta still technically doesn't know anything about his mom. No one has actually told him anything. Uh, and this isn't a big uh, thing for Libby because Libby hasn't told him anything. Libby didn't get anything out of this. This flashback was literally just for no reason. Like we actually did not, no one got anything. It was us, the reader, none of the characters in the story, no one got anything. The only information that was passed from this flashback is that his mom loved him, but no, we, we knew that <laughs> we knew that already. So th that, that part was just a big waste to me. Like it just, our, our tires were spinning. Like we didn't go anywhere. Uh, it's just, I don't know if you liked it. If you, if you like the, the whole double down on reinforcing how much the mother cared for her child, you know, good for you. But for me, who actually kind of wanted the plot to, 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 to push forward, didn't care for it. And then I guess if we shift over to the other part of the chapter, which was the, uh, I guess exchanges between Asta and Lucifero, the craziest thing of this fight was right here when Lucifero like raises the ground up. I was like, Whoa, Lucifero, you know how to do something else besides punch and kick. I was I was genuinely shocked when I saw this in, in this part. I was like, oh wait, is he trying to do like an attack? Like, is he is he doing something that doesn't revolve punching or kick? I was just amazed because I didn't know that he actually knew how to do anything else. It's like you would assume he could do something else, but he just never really did. And I get what people are gonna say when I say this. Oh, well, this world doesn't have a grimoire, so the grimoire gives you access to more complex spells and da 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 da. I don't, Zagrid was literally using all kinds of different things with, with word magic, named attacks, named abilities, without using the Grimoire at all. Granted, you could say he had Parcher's Grimoire in hand, but he explicitly states when he's going to start using magic out of that Grimoire, and that's when he starts doing crazier stuff. He explicitly states it. Before then, he's just doing regular attacks with his magic without any, uh, like, without e even using the Grimoire. So Lucifero, who is ranked way higher than him, should be able to also do named attacks the fact that all he could do against asta was punch and kick was just 
Oh my gosh. It was just like, after you've seen that Asa can slice through your body, why are you still trying to punch and kick him? Like, why are you not trying to defend in other ways? Like, it was just, it just felt so weird. It just felt so weird that he was just letting Asta hack him apart and he couldn't do anything about it. Like, granted, he's only at 50% power. And it, it, I get that. I really do. But the fact that he literally just didn't have anything else, he just felt so lackluster. Because at last chapter, I said it when I was talking about it, Asta's just going to beat him. Like, he's just going to win. And in this chapter, he kind of just won. And <laughs> we could always hear people say, oh, wait, next week or next week he'll do something and all of that. But like I said earlier in this video, I review Black Clover week to week critically like that's how i talk about it so in this week is looking like lucifer is really trash right now <laughs> he's looking really trash and i'm tired of i'm tired of tabata doing these villains so dirty like <laughs> it's like yeah lucifer did beat up all of the captains but it's like so like no like like <laughs> it's like so <laughs> it, it really doesn't matter if asa just comes through and just cleans it up because it's not like anybody died well at least to my knowledge right now it's not like anybody died or is horribly maimed. I mean, there's that whole thing with uh, Yami and Noct that they could be dead, but big doubt, massive doubt. I mean, Marleona may have lost an arm, maybe. Uh, there is the whole floating thing of Adremelak being in the area. I know he's still like a pretty big plot point right now, but he, I don't see him really stepping in and doing anything just because it doesn't seem like he cares all that much. I mean, he, if he was going to step in and do something, he would have did it when Lucifer literally told him to, uh, at least to me. Now, this could be this whole thing where he's the true big bad and, you know, he was waiting for this moment. But it feels like we've done this before. Like, it feels like we've done this same song and dance with Dante or Xenon or with Morris or Lucifero. We always keep saying, oh, this person is the new big bad and this was their moment they're waiting for. And it's like, how many times? <laughs> how many times are we going to keep pushing the goalpost before we realize maybe just some of these or maybe just the villains don't really mean all that much and like it, it it just bothers me i guess like i really did not enjoy this a lot and i get it this is a shonen series the main character wins i understand i understand that but at the very least you could make the villain seem somewhat threatening i mean outside of beating up the captains lose lose forward just didn't seem threatening i i just it even if he does get back up next week or even if he does do something else crazy next week it, he'd have to really pull through and be like on real demon time for me to, for this to, to flip around because his portrayal was way up here and what he's been doing is is low it is real low for me now as i said before if you love this chapter if you love the mother loving her son flashback and you like to see Asta triumph and just wreck and, and wreck this guy cool cool for you not trying to take that away from you you are more than entitled to have that but me personally and i'm pretty sure a lot of other people did not really care for this <laughs> did not really th th this just was not it for me um personally i get this title like four it was below average four isn't horrible i judge you know one being absolutely trash ten being absolutely perfect five being in the middle five is average for me so giving it a four definitely below average for me it was I really want to give it a three, but I feel like people will really hate me for that. And I feel like it's just maybe, maybe I'm in the moment really upset because I've already been like ranting. But at this moment, we're going to say a four. I really didn't care for this chapter, unfortunately. Uh, if you um, if you have the reasons why I should or if you like strongly, strongly like disagree, please put that in the comments. I would love to see some of you guys' opinions on it. But just like I feel like the general like I feel like undisputably everything about let's see that kind of didn't mean anything because we already knew this and nothing changed it was just pages just for the sake of pages and you know asta beating lucifero does kind of hurt his portrayal it honestly does like there's no way that it couldn't i mean he was he was again hyped up to be this huge big villain i want to say he's been around for like i mean great he's been around but he's been out like out and about for like 10 or 15 chapters or so and He's basically threatening to already be gone. I feel like that's a big deal. It would be like, like, just think about him, Bleach. Think about if Aizen revealed himself to be that, that, like, that big villain he was. And then Ichigo is bought to kill him, like, ten chapters later. Like, really think about that. Like, think about Madara drops down and Naruto meets him. And then, like, 15 chapters later, he's about to die. Like, really think about how crazy that is. And then think about that with Black Clover. Like, it just really feels weird like these villains wouldn't be nearly as hype if their positions as like these big bads were threatened so early i guess that's the main point i'm trying to get across here but 
Y'all know I didn't care for the chapter that much. <laughs> I didn't care for it that much, so I'm sorry. <laughs> this probably wasn't the review that some people wanted to see. But that being said, let me know you guys' thoughts about it down below. Love to hear what you guys are thinking about it. Um, and that being said, I will catch you guys in my next video. <laughs> Hopefully, oh, I feel like my past couple reviews for Black Clover haven't been super positive. And it sucks. I really like the series. I feel like people would think that I hate Black Clover or something. But I don't. I just, I love the series so much. Like, it was a series that got me into doing, like, YouTube content. So, since I love the series so much, I'm just really hard on it. Like, I'm really critical of the story because I like it so much. I hope people can understand that. Uh, but, yeah, you guys all enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you on my next video. We're shooting for positive next time. <laughs>